Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this, know that I appreciate you. It is I, Jay, and I'd like to welcome you to another day in the daily life of Jay. It is Wednesday, November 11th, 2020, and it is 8.28 in the a.m., and I gotta tell you, it was hard to turn this camera on this morning, simply because the music I was listening to was calling me, man, it was calling me, and I was actually feeling, I was actually feeling it very much, uh, Kirk Franklin's song, Strong God, um, and then Tamla Mann's song. Um, I forget the title of hers, but whoa, that's called a hole in the road. Um, I can't remember the name of her song, but I needed to uh, hear that before I, I turned the camera on. And uh, the lighting is a little weird, just a little bit. Sun's got me half covered. The other half is in the shade. Oh gosh, how was your evening? How was your evening? Um, I hope that it was what you needed it to be, what you wanted it to be. Um, I do hope that. I hope that you got a great night's rest. And even if you did it, hope that you still awoke refreshed um, and energetic so that your day will not be a day of feeling drained and um, exhausted. That's my prayer for you. Um, last night was okay for us. The husband, I went and picked up something for him that uh, he only wanted me to pay for but I don't like if I don't have to have them I don't like interest fees so I went and picked it up versus paying on it um, and that's all I'll say about that and he didn't as far as where I got it from um, but he didn't realize that I had picked it up he thought that I had just made the payment but then I started, when we got in the car to go get something to eat, and I started explaining to him what happened. He was like, oh, you actually picked them up? Yes. So, he's like, I didn't realize it. I'm, thank, thank you so much. I didn't realize it. Um, but now he's a little upset with me because he has court this morning, virtual court this morning. Um, and there's also some paperwork that he said needs to be completed. I don't know. It's not for court. It's for something else. But he's upset because, one, he's got court this morning. And, two, there is paperwork that needs to be completed. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, I, I do know that it doesn't have anything to do with court because I looked at the papers for court got a speeding ticket a while ago a while ago switch lanes because um and they are doing virtual court now he did pay a fine he got two tickets and he did pay the fine for one other I guess they finally gotten around to being able to I'll wait for you honey because your trailer I don't want to hit my car um, I guess they're finally getting around to having court for those that um, I guess appealed the decision or asked for grace that's what it was he asked for grace um, so I guess they're finally getting around to those court appearances, virtually speaking. Is that a street cleaner? My God. Okay. See, that.
that just distracted me for <laughs> that just and I know that this conversation so far has been in several different places but that distracted me because I said to the husband maybe two months ago maybe a little bit longer but about two months ago I said to him that's yeah about two months ago because I was still at the other place when I said it um, that one thing that I have not seen here in the DFW area uh, are street cleaners. I have not seen street cleaners because I keep getting screws and, and junk in my tires. I, I, my tire light is on now because I, I got a screw somewhere, probably. Um, but I, I keep getting, you know, my tires keep getting ruined. Um, and the guy that I used to work with, wow, um, he kept getting blowouts on his tires. And his tires were super expensive because he had a specialty vehicle that required special tires. So he kept getting blowouts. I keep getting screws in my tires. And I said, the one thing that I've noticed that I haven't seen here that I've seen that is in Chicago seasonally um, is a street cleaner and I just saw one now I've seen the, 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 the parking lot cleaners which are smaller versions of a street cleaner and they go around and pick up all the metal and stuff in the road and, and the trash or in the parking lot rather but I had not seen a street cleaner here my god so I just saw one so they do exist. They do. They do exist. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, so the husband has court this morning. Virtual court. Um, and then he's also, I guess, got some paperwork that needs to be completed that I haven't completed for him. So he was upset because I hadn't completed the work for him, the paperwork for him. But it's funny to me because the way he said it, it was like, I mean, it's a given that I'm supposed to fill it out. And... So when he said, you know, I got paperwork here that needs to be filled out. I said, is that your way of asking me to fill out the paperwork for you? Is, is that how we do that? I, I didn't think that was how we did that, but hey, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe something going on with me that I didn't know about. So he got upset because I asked the question. So he's a little perturbed with me when I walked out. I don't care. He just don't know. I don't care. Be upset. I'm going about my day. Um, but I will say I got the video up finally of uh, my birthday live. So that is up on my other channel. The link is in the description box. So you can very easily go on over there. Take a look at it and any of the other videos that I have there. Inspirational motivational and otherwise um, and then I finally this morning realized why my other video the montage would not load up because I kept going through the process and going through the process and going through and I'm like why won't the video load up so well, I want to download so I can save it and because it was going through it looked as if it were downloading but it, there was nothing there I figured out why I can't tell nobody else. You hear me? I can't tell nobody else. It wasn't downloading because I didn't have what slides I wanted or what videos I wanted downloaded. So, I when you when you select download, of the, excuse me, in this platform that I use, when you select download especially a video, especially if you're doing multiple videos. I did not know this, but it gives you an option of selecting one video or another. I didn't know that. Um, I thought it would just automatically, when you select download, download the entire thing. Well, that's not the case. Um, and even though that is one video or another is what I would have liked to have done, um, 
because that was my intent from the beginning. I knew that I didn't have time to sit and wait for it to happen today. So I selected all and it finally all downloaded. Um, it was just taking too long for it to play though. And I think I walked out. I did walk out um, so I could leave, but I think I left the, <laughs> the option for it to play still spinning. So my husband's gonna hear my voice in that room. If he hasn't already, because I left it spinning while it um, it buffered, it was buffering. So he's going to hear my voice in that room after I leave. It should be going now. Um, but anyway, so I figured out that that's what it was. I had the option of selecting all videos to be downloaded or one video at a time. Um, and now that I know that, I know for the next montage that I do, I can, I have the option of doing one or the other. Um, so I've selected all, it downloaded, um, and then I uploaded it to YT, my other channel. I uploaded it there, and it was still, uh, it was just about done with the upload and on its way to processing. I think it was like two minutes away from completing the upload and then on to the processing. So I just selected to uh, publish it once it was done with the processing. So that should be live fairly soon. By the time that you see this, it will be live. Um, and again, the link to that other channel is below. So you are welcome to go on over there and take a look at it. I don't know if I'm going to post either of those videos on this channel. Um, but you can absolutely go on over there and take a look just in case I don't. Um, and then if you like what you see over there, go ahead and subscribe, y'all. Go on over there and subscribe. Read, listen, you know, to what I have to say. Watch the videos. Over there, it's all coaching and inspiration and motivation. Um, that's what's over there. Over here is a little bit of everything. Over here is my daily life, so I talk about everything. Um, but over there, it is inspiration, motivation, and coaching. Uh, because that's what I do. So yeah, like I said, the link's below. Go take a look. Go take a listen. Subscribe. Like some videos. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, so that was... Uh, what's been happening we had it's so funny for lunch I wanted something different so I went to Jimmy John's and got uh, a chipotle sandwich chipotle chicken I believe it was I think that's what it's called I know it was chicken but I think that's what it's called chipotle chicken um, got that for lunch ate a good portion of that I only got a regular I didn't get a full got a regular ate the majority of that with some chips and then come home and the husband is like so uh, what do you want McDonald's or Burger King neither neither one neither no I, I don't want none I don't want none so I go do he asked me to rub his back but I had to go get my phone so I went to get my phone and when I come back I see he's on subway so <laughs> I'd already had um, a sandwich uh, for lunch and then he has he orders the subway and I didn't say no to the subway because it's been a while since we've had subway at one point it was, subway was every other night just because the, of the deal that was going on and he wanted the deal So last night we ordered the subway and the deal that they have going on right now, and I don't know if it's still going on or if last night was the last night, but it was ordered to, and it's only online. So don't go in there thinking you're going to do this when you walk in the store. It is only online. You order two and you get one free. Order two foot longs and you get one free. Okay. But again, it's only if you order online. So don't walk in the store, in the, the restaurant, thinking that you're gonna order two subs, two foot long subs, 
and get a third one free. You must have the app. And no, this is not sponsored. I'm just giving you all this information and I'm trying to make sure that you get the right information because I don't want you walking into the store and getting upset with them because they won't give you a third sandwich for free when you order two. You gotta do it through the app and order it online. So, that's what we did last night. So, I had a avocado chicken, which is the, it was very little avocado. Um, but I had an avocado chicken and, or is it guacamole chicken? It's guacamole chicken. Um, but again, whatever, I had very little guacamole. Um, had that, ate half of that, not even a whole half, just like with my lunch. I didn't even finish the whole thing, the whole half. Um, but had that with some chips and a glass of wine. Oh, I bought two bottles of wine for my birthday. One Moscato and one red. And even though the red was a good red, it's, it's, a, it's a very tasty red. Um, it's hearty. And I don't mind hearty, but I prefer sweet. So I had heard about, uh, Stella uh, having a sweet red and the one that she was talking about she wasn't sure of the name and I'm going to have to go look for it today because what I got last night was not what she had what she had was darker than what I bought last night but it was a, a berry that she has and I'm sorry I keep saying she and I haven't told you who she is uh, Larissa Nelson. Um, uh, I think that's just the name of her channel. I think it's just Larissa Nelson. She does hair, makeup. Um, she's a beauty uh, blogger. Beauty and lifestyle. She just started changing her branding. She's a beauty and lifestyle blogger now because her life has changed. She's now a wife and she's a mother. Um, she's a sweet young lady. I really enjoy watching her and her family. Um, I enjoy watching her and her family to see how her husband loves her. Like, I mean, I see how she loves him, but to see how he loves her is just awesome. And to know their story, I've watched, um, I, didn't, I didn't catch her from the very beginning. Um, at, of their relationship um, I just happened to see YT suggested something and um, you know th they were suggesting things and I, I don't know which one of her videos I saw but um, it suggested that I watch her and I think it was because I was looking for makeup tutorials and it suggested that I watch her and I enjoyed what she had to say so much in that video that I started watching more of her videos. And then she did a video where she introduced um, her then boyfriend. Um, and they talked about um, their relationship and how it was long distance. And they're young. They're in their, um, I think he just turned 30. I think he just turned 30, but she's still in her mid 20s. So they are fairly young, but they've got their stuff together. This is a great young couple. So go take a look at them. Her name is Larissa Nelson. Go take a look for them. Um, great family. Um, you got to listen to her story. But anyway, so she suggested a Stella uh, sweet. And it was Stella, uh, Stella Blueberry or something like that. And I was looking for that last night and I couldn't find they didn't have the blueberry but they did have a Stella Berry so I went ahead and got that and uh, had a glass of that not even a full glass I just wanted a taste of it so I poured half of a true full glass and it's so good my goodness it's so good so I may have another glass tonight I don't know it depends um, it's taking me a little bit longer to get to work today because I took the streets today instead of the high. I was on the freeway yesterday. And again, I know this video is bouncing all over the place. I know, but that's where my head is right now, all over the place. Um, 
it's but the wine is is Stella Berry. That's the wine. So if you like sweets, sweet reds, go get it. Um, and it's not even a full red. It's a it's a pink. It's like a, a almost a blush. Um, so go find it. I know what Larissa had was a deeper red, so I need to go find that one. Um, I think she called it a blueberry. But anyway, um, I'm gonna, I lost the car. Oh, the highway, the freeway. So I was on my way, and I gotta get gas. I was on my way uh, to work yesterday, and there were so many things in the road on the freeway. And the husband is always telling me not to get behind, you know, trucks that are carrying things out in the open because you never know what could fall off their truck. You don't know if they're looking for the post office, if whatever they have on the back of their truck or their trailer is truly secure. So, and I, I knew that anyway, but he likes to reinforce it and behave as if he's telling me something brand new. Um, and I, I go with it because I know it's a male ego thing. Um, but anyway, so I do my best to stay away from trucks and trailers that have things in the back. Um, and you don't know if they're really secure or not. But in the road yesterday, so I saw, and I don't know how to describe it, but you know those spools that the wires and cable and things are on. Um, and I'm not talking uh, the cable for your house. I mean, heavy duty cable. Um, so the top part of one of those spools was in the road, which I'm guessing someone was going to use to make a table because that's what I would do with it. Um, the crafty me would do that. So the top part of one of those was in there, was in the road. And then as I drove further, right before I got onto the entrance to another freeway, uh, there was this large white garbage bag looking um, bag in the road. But it wasn't like moving. So I think it, like, you know, with garbage bags, they kind of move when the wind, when a car zooms by it because the wind is blowing it. This bag didn't move. So I don't know what was in it, but it didn't move. And it was full. And then I get onto the other freeway. And I'm driving along. And there's this huge armchair in the road. And I don't mean like your dining room armchair. I mean like your living room grandpa's almost lazy boy type chair. So I was like, oh, that's what we're doing? We're just tossing stuff off our trucks, huh? Just tossing them. Um, so I decided that today I am not getting on the freeway. Um, even last, when I went home last night, I took the streets. I did not get on the freeway because, or did I? I did. I didn't, excuse me, I didn't intend to get on the freeway last night, but I knew I had to get to that place, that store before it closed to pick up the husband's thing um so i got on the freeway last night but i knew today i was not getting on the freeway so i did not i took the streets so it's taking me a little bit longer to get to work but i'm still early which i'm grateful for um so yeah and you all have been riding with me the whole time i appreciate y'all and another thing that made me say that I wasn't going to get on the freeway today is that yesterday on the way home when I tell you that it reminded me of watching cars on a racetrack like the Indy 500 switching in and out of lanes just in and out in and out in and out multiple cars at a time doing it. That is what it looked like going home last night. So debris in the road in the morning and the Indy 500 in the evening. 
So I was like, yeah, for real. I'm not getting on the freeway tomorrow. Uh-oh. Um, so yeah, it, it's crazy. I still got to get this book mailed out. I tried to do it before I hit the road for work, but the post office wasn't opened yet. So I'm supposed to be looking for the post office. It's closer to the job, um, the office. But I was talking to y'all, so I didn't even see it. So I'll look for it at lunch. That's what I'll do. I'll look for it at lunchtime. I look for... Uh, <laughs> I hate when GPS sends me off. And the short of it is... I put in my search engine... Post office near. And I put this address in. The office address in. And it sent me to a residential neighborhood. Not a problem. Because there are post offices in the residential neighborhoods. Not just industrial. But when I get to the location, it's not a post office. It's a big house that looks like at one point in time, it was a big house used for commercial purposes, but it's been converted back to a residential dwelling. So I was pissed because I spent a great deal of time driving to this place. Now, I will say that I did discover more shopping along the way, more malls along the way, more places to go spend money on along the way, which I did not stop in any of them. Um, but I was upset because it took me so far out of the way beyond the shopping and all of that. Um, and then I still had to drive back this way, grab something to eat and get back to the office. Um, that yeah, I was just, I was two, three. So I asked my coworker if she knew of a post office nearby and she told me of one that she knew of, which actually happened to be one of the ones that I found online. But of course, when I got in the car and put the GPS on, something totally different popped up. So I'm gonna try the one that she mentioned yesterday and um, uh, drop this book in the mail so that it can get to my excited buyer soon uh, and I'm not going to ship it um, there's a way to ship ship books there's like a book rate and it's less expensive than the regular rate but it also takes longer and I don't want it to take longer so I'm just going to pay the regular shipping whatever it is I think it's like eight fifty. just pay that and be done with it because I wanted to get it by no later than um, Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, I wanted to have it by Saturday when she gets back home. And uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. All right. I need to get inside. You guys have a great rest of the day. Um, I'm sure that I will not be getting back on here later on unless something happens that I need to tell you all about or want to tell you all about. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Um... So yeah, peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.